Hey, this is Wes, and in this video, we are gonna take a look at how to export an animated model from Cinema 4D into After Effects. Now, if you're following along from my Fast Track 3D Texturing for Beginners Substance Painter tutorial, I'm gonna be using assets from that course. I'm gonna show you how to take the substance materials that we exported from Painter, we're gonna apply those in Cinema, and then we're gonna export an animated mesh for use in After Effects. All right, let's jump in and take a look. So here I'm in Cinema 4D and I have the phone case and you'll see that this has a couple joints for some skin deformation. So if I hit play, here you can see the animation. And what's really cool is this animation is going to be playable once I get into After Effects and the skin deformation for this cover is gonna work as well, which is pretty awesome. Now, all we need to do is just apply the substance materials that we created in Substance Painter to the correct parts of the mesh. Now I can just drag these substance materials that I exported from Substance Painter, I can just drag those right into Cinema. So if you're following along with the Fast Track 3D Texturing for Beginners Painter course, you can find a link to the source files in the description of that video. So here I have a couple prompts to add this material as part of the uh, project search path. I'm going to click OK, uh, yes for this, and the materials will then be loaded into Cinema. And if I double click here, you can see in the node editor that it actually creates a substance node and it generates the textures and hooks them up. Now here I have this displacement node. I don't really need that, so let's delete it. Uh, let's take a look here at the hardcover. Same thing, we have uh, the substance node. And here I have the standard material, which is gonna let me render this right in Redshift, which is awesome. Again, I don't need this displacement node, so let's just delete that. And now we just need to assign the materials. So I'll select the hard case. And I'm going to place this on the frame sides here and on the back cover. And let's take the hardcover case and just put that, uh, excuse me, the cover, and let's just put that on the cover and the connector. Now here in the viewport, it looks a little weird, like something's not correct. That is actually just an issue here with the, the viewport display. And to resolve that, if you select the material, and if you come over to the viewport tab underneath the texture preview size, we need to switch this. So I'm going to change it here to 4K and you can see that that updates looks pretty good. Now I'm using 4K because that is the, the resolution that I chose when I exported these substance materials out of Substance Painter. So let's do the same thing here, texture preview size, let's set that to 4K, and it refreshes and there we go, everything's looking pretty good. Now as I said, these materials, this is all render in Redshift, so if I needed to do some quick uh, renders, I could just pop over here to my uh, Redshift render view, we'll hit play, and you can see here that it is going to render in Redshift, and here we go, we have our render, everything looks pretty good. So that takes care of applying our materials. Uh, the phone case here is animated. If I just scrub the timeline, again, you can see we have the animation, materials are applied, great. Now we just need to export to a GLB for use in After Effects. And here you can see the hard case 3D model loaded into After Effects with the animation playing back. All the materials are applied. And that's gonna close out this video. We now have an animated model that we can use in After Effects. When you're ready, be sure to check out the Fast Track Working with 3D Models in After Effects video.